Hi there, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon and we are going to go through a Facebook template creation here with the free Facebook templates I have as an exclusive on my Facebook page right now. I am going to just show you how to insert your photos and customize it to your style. I have open here in Photoshop and I'm using CS5 for those of you who want to know which version you're looking at here. This is uh, the Facebook template Business 2 and I first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the first image I want to place in there and I'm going to place this picture. I have my image open here and I am simply going to I have my moves tool selected which is this tool right up at the top here the little arrow. I'm going to take my image here, drag it over on top of my template document and if you want to center it you can hold down the shift key and it will automatically center it in the middle of your document or you can just drop it wherever you want to. Just drop it right there and I'm going to uh, move it kind of up kind of where I want, want it. We have here in our layer palette we can see it's layer number one. We're going to take that layer with our mouse, click on it and we're going to drag it down to underneath this layer here. See it says place your photo under this layer. I'm going to drop it right underneath there and you can see over here it clipped it to that little box underneath there. Then I am going to resize it. I am going to hit Command T or Control T on a PC, Command T on a Mac. It's going to give us our transform box and then I am going to, this is important, I'm going to hold down my shift key while I'm resizing it. So I hold down the shift key and then I drag from the corners to resize the image and it constrains the proportions when I hold my shift key. If you don't hold your shift key down, you get this and you get a stretched image like that. So you want to command T or control T on a PC hold the shift key, drag from the corners so it's about the size you want it, make it a little bit smaller, drag it to where you want it and then hit return or enter and then open up our second image that we want on the bottom and another thing you can do if you, if you don't want to drag it over you can You can do a select all, which is command A or control A on a PC. Do copy, which is command C or control C. Come back over here and do a command or control V as in Victor for a paste. And you see this is clipped into our top picture here because it's underneath this layer over here. We want to take this layer of the image we just dropped in there and drag it up to be underneath this layer here where it says place your phone or photo under this layer for the bottom pick. And we drop it right there and you see it reclipped to the bottom picture. And then again I'm hitting command T or control T on a PC to resize it and constrain the proportions. I hit the shift key and resize it dragging from the corner get it to where I want it, hit enter, return, and there we go. We have both of our images in there. Another thing you can do to place your image, if you don't want to drag and you don't want to do the copy paste, you can also go to your file menu and you can select place and find your image from there. And it'll do the same thing and then come over here and make sure it's underneath this layer that says place your photo under this layer and it'll clip it automatically to the picture above uh, that you put it above. Then to customize it you can either use the text I have in here to just type out your name and you may get a font error if you don't have the fonts I use and then just use whatever font you think looks good. Um, Just do whatever you want with that. Customize it to your liking. If you want to change the
color on that. Select your text color, change it to whatever you want. You can also, if you would like to add your logo, open your logo file. Now, if you want to have this on a colored background at the end, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute too, but if you want your logo to be on top of a colored background, you're going to need a PNG or another Photoshop file with a transparent background and, and not a JPEG. Otherwise, you're going to have a block of white or whatever the color is on your background. So I have a PNG file here I'm going to open up, which is my logo. And you can see it's transparent in the background. So when we drag that over, it's going to just lay over the top of our colored background without any, any background itself. So I'm going to turn off, I turned off the, the logo text layer and I'm going to turn off uh, these dots. I don't want those on there for, for this template. And I am going to change the background color first. And so we double click on our background and that opens up our layer style. You want to select color overlay here and just select whatever color you want in here. pick some a very light blue color and then um, we can customize this text a little bit more if we want to say whatever it, what it is um, we want it to say welcome or our telephone number or whatever it is you want it to say I'm just going to say welcome to the page and drag that to where we want it and then I'm going to take my logo and I'm going to just drag it over here and I'm going to hit command T or control T again hold the shift key down while I'm resizing we want to change the color of text on this. I hit T and that automatically gives you your text tool and then you can go up and hit the color and change the color of your text or you can highlight it and change the color that way as well. I'm just going to use my eyedropper here to select this orange here to make it the same color. And that is pretty much it. That is ready to go when it's all done just like you want it. You want to go up to File, Save for Web and for Facebook I always do 95, 97, somewhere really high quality for that. And that is how you customize the Facebook templates in Photoshop. I will do a separate one for Elements. It's pretty much the same. There's a couple of little things that are a little bit different. So I hope that helped all of you. And one more thing, if you are watching this and wondering what the heck we're talking about or where to get these templates, if you go to my Facebook page at facebook.com backslash paint the moon photography, you will find underneath the exclusive tab, you have to like our page first, uh, so like us and then click on exclusive and you will have access to exclusive Facebook fan freebies. And this one is the current one right now, and you get a, just a ton of different templates to use to customize your Facebook profile images. And this works on the new profile for personal pages as well as business pages, and I have both templates for business and personal included. You can see mine here, and it's very large and makes a big impact, and it's a great way to draw your customers in and set yourself apart from your competition. Um, or if you're a personal page, just make it fun and you um, can just unlock the download after uh, going through the like process. And we ask that if you like what you download and you like our stuff, that you share it with your friends and tell people about it. And I thank you for listening to our tutorial and for all of your support. You guys are all awesome. And we will talk to you soon. Thanks. And again, one more thing. If you have downloaded these templates and you did so earlier in the week when they were first released, uh, you may be using the ones that had suggest to friends and an arrow on it over here. 
And you'll see I still have Suggest to Friends highlighted here. That is because I'm a page administrator and you'll likely see that underneath your profile image when you're logged in. However, Facebook decided to take that feature away for the public. So you'll only see it. Only administrators of your page will see that now and the public cannot see that or use it anymore. So I have updated all of the templates uh, with new designs. I added some new ones and redesigned the old ones that had the arrow and the suggest to friends on it. So you'll want to download the new ones or just revise the ones that you're already using. It's pretty easy to do. Just add your logo down there instead of the arrow or what have you, or you can download the new ones. And I've got a whole bunch of new designs in there as well. And I included the old suggest to friends with the arrow just in case Facebook decides to bring that that feature back, but for now it is gone. Uh, I want everybody to know that, that that we have the updated ones, and if you're using the ones with the arrow now, um, because they took that feature away midweek, uh, it is pointing to nothing for the public. And another thing is, uh, after you upload your image, you will want to make sure, I'm gonna show you here, so you will want to make sure when you upload your image, that you edit your thumbnail here. And after you upload your, your new profile image, you will see this here, edit thumbnail. You want to click on that so that when you are posting, your profile image is centered on the image you want it to. Otherwise, it's gonna grab it somewhere right around here. And if you have a two images going on here on your profile, you're gonna see part of the bottom here, part of the top here, and a line in between doesn't look so hot so you want to make sure click edit thumbnail that'll let that you slide it around to where you want it and click OK that that it is exactly where you want it so everything looks slick across the board for you on your business page and that is it thank you very much bye bye